Hi guys, in this video I will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to arrange and control events in VCVRAC. Choose the Ableton Live and we show my full tech house performance with this workflow in the end of the video and let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we want to do is setting up the clock. So we need to add VCV Bridge plugin into Ableton Live. Then we should add a Max for Live device called CV Clock Out. This is in beta now, and I will put a link in the description below. So we need to choose a clock to 5 and 6 output into VCV Bridge and run trigger to 7, 8 output to VCV Bridge as well. Let's switch to VCV Rack. I already add a clock from Impromptu and let's add 5 output to BPM, choose P4 in the mode and connect run cable uh, from 7 out. Let's choose part 1 as default. OK, it's triggered and this tempo reflects from Ableton Live to VCV Rack. Very nice. OK, let's do MIDI connections between apps. We need to download Loop B1 for Windows and I believe there is internal way to do that in Mac OS. So let's go into preference and set on on output and input near the loop B in this list. Okay now we need to create MIDI track and setting output to the loop B internal MIDI. Now we need to create a MIDI trigger track Let's create C1 and C flat 1 notes per each track. And let's add MIDI gate module to this V rack. And let's choose loop B1 in device list. Okay, please notice that C2 in this V rack is a C1 in Ableton. I don't know why it is. Now we need to add a strip module which will activate and deactivate modules in VCVRAC by triggering it from Ableton Live. Let's take a mixer from Squinkle Labs. And let's add a Vult Trimmer drum machine or drum voice to test this method of control VCVREC from Ableton Live. Let's choose a left side from the strip and very important, choose high and low gate inputs. Okay, let's click on the on button, this disable the trimmer. Yes, this is magic. MIDI node is activate our trimmer from Ableton Live. And this is completely in the clock. Let's test it. Let's turn it off again. Everything plays in the grid, in Ableton Live grid and in clock in VCV Rack. This is pretty awesome. One thing what I don't like is um, 
micro click when sample is off. So let's add a mult module from bug audio and the strip will mute our trigger to the trimmer and this way allows you to get more natural decay musical decay yes it works you can play with the reset options in clocked but I found that best way to control events from Ableton Live is choose reset when stop and we should stop uh, transport in Ableton Live and then run any MIDI gate from Ableton and everything will be in the clock and without missing gates. Let's add another strip module and another mult module to add um, I don't know, let's add a hi-hat increase our multiplier Yes, it's also controlled by Ableton Live. So let me show you my performance, which I've made in Ableton and VCV Rack. Here is a eight track, eight MIDI track, which control events in VCV Rack. Thank you for watching my friends, I hope this will help you to improve your production. If you want to support my work, please support me on Patreon, I really, really appreciate it. Enjoy friends!